the big turn. Yeah, absolutely. Setting a tempo, setting the pace, these are... So, this is really interesting. We've got Thatcher in play, we've got Valkyrie in play, um, Roof. No real... Oh, okay, oh. there it is. Gotarada starts things off and down goes out of the mouth. Good is, is made. I, Team 1 doesn't have a lot to work with. The oh. shotgun from Anaton on the tower stairs will net the second Goes kill. down for the count. Levy eyeing a potential play, but Anaton so much better. Black Ray as well gets one of his own, and the secure right now not looking very good. Levy will make it so it's not flawless, but see. Placement. Black Ray going for another fight. This no. time he takes the disadvantage, but Gatorade is there to support him. This team is incredible. And he's calling for assistance, and that's not a clone, that's the real one! Oh! And a huge oh! play from a flawless round is got Lagonis is down for the count. CAG walks away with this one. Neskin picks up one kill, but it's outdone by the control right now for Team 1. Anatoon takes out Ali Mao. Neskin with one HP. gotarada has got the opening from above, and there it is! They can pick up a couple more kills here, then the round becomes imminently more winnable. Ayagator tries his luck, but KDS picks up kill number trolling over by White Stairs. Levy could be the next one, and he catches Black Ray, and he gets fed to by Gotarada who's now looking so this Maestro will make an awful lot of noise, and he'll look the wrong way, get lit up, and he loses the fight, finally. If Cyclops prevails here, this is match point. Black Ray dueling Neskin, but he can't do anything with it. So Anaton's up next, engaging with Ali Mao. No kill for you, Ali Mao. Nitro Cell goes off, and it's two rounds. Leading out, Suzu will walk in and secure. Ali Mao looking for kill number two. He's not gonna get it, and CAG come in and just wipe the floor with Team One, what? and complete the cleanup. Anaton could potentially connect onto one more, and Neskin loses his fight. Anaton is still there. Lagonis with a single shot will be able to take out Suzu. See? But what just happened? The last two players from Team... ...in order to qualify for the Major, but this is also a strong map for BDS as well. So, you've got a very... So, um... Mira's available. That's true. Wamai is available. Malusi yep. is available. But Wamai is the only denial. Going for direct archives. They're just gunning for it. That's it. Renshiro gets leadoff kill. Super answers back. But it was only 30 seconds off the clock before that first fray happened. And, oh, Grixer takes matters into his own hands. He's but he's only got to land one against most of these defenders. That's a beautiful shot on Super. One more bullet, and there's the second, not the third. Brine shut down by Rexen, and he will get that first round. There's just been that exhaustive intel work. Some droning being done, but as I say that, Yeti sacrifice V2. Super looks the wrong way. Shiko wins that gun duel, and Kanzen will need to clutch out. He won't be able to do it. And Anything they can get, Shiko engages oh. in projector and okay. wins it out against Yeti, who just tries to dodge. So he'll retreat, trying to slow something over towards Yellow Stairs, but Shiko's on a warpath. Your life while you're throwing those gas canisters. There's going to be oh. another one for Shiko. That's his third Kanzen and Stairs. He wants to re engage, and it's going to punish him. Brinshiro slapping him Carried down. into the site. He'll look for one. He gets the Wamai, plays off of Kansas perfectly, oh. turns around, doesn't engage, we'll to do it, to. and he's got it in his path. He can't stick it. There's nowhere near enough time, and it might be a Pyrrhic victory Easily for the see in to the Thermite of Super and erects it out on the balcony. Shiko punishing, firing away through the smoke to get that diffuser. He's in the midst of the smoke, and he's finished off by an evil eye of all things. Yeah. Still there. Oh, go yeah, for it. There you go. There you go. There you go. He gets it. <laughs> BDS two big kills. Shiko, Shiko just doesn't lose those. He Pivots, can't do much on the super. The spray transfer does not work out. Grix are down below, but he doesn't have access to that diffuser, so they just need to play time. Where is Super going to drop? He tries to, but it's cleaned up. A disappointing performance for the North American squad. BDS look as frightening. Up. And honestly, I really like that, uh, especially with the vigil band coming in. You don't want to take away too many tools from yourself. The uh, choice of kitchen. Man. But Ninjas and Pajamas are prepared for this. Citizen trying to fly through, but it's going to be Kayak and Jonka to get it done. Julio will get one, but are they going to be able to find the planner? The plant's still going down. It's down to Kamikaze, and he's going to lose his life from Virtue. Where that someone was directly above him. Kamikaze taking a lot of damage. He's going to lose his life on White Stairs. Muzi to fall as well, but no. Muzi hops outside. Can he get two? Lights up Citizen, but Citizen's got a horn inside of the site to take down two as well. And it's going to be an even Trey, Julio blocking the door Trying into this 1v2 clutch. Unfortunately, he has to try and shoot out all this utility being deployed towards him. And when he finally makes the aggressive play, Julio's ready to right, immediately. All these pillars. Walking up to Regan Door. Can have one on his side. Citizen will one. Can he get the second? He can. Moosey trying to get the shots, but they don't land. Kayak makes it out. Now it's down to Pino on such low HP. He'll be able to get one. Like a 3v5 clutch coming out from G2. Beautiful stuff from them. Obviously, Pino trying to do his best here, but the time is well gone at this point. G2. We've seen NIP be able to successfully hold the line. Aggression for Moosey finally is going to pull out, and it's going to be able to take down Citizen. Hungry because of all the previous rounds and has been relatively controlled. No one from NIP oh. actively hunting it down, but.
but never mind. Oh, about to make a play regardless. He does have the case in hand, but he's going to walk right into Pino as NAP finally claim a second round. G2 have to be careful with every single step they take. Never mind, Citizen jumps out and about, makes himself into Cocktail. Pino trying to swing against him. He will succeed for a triple. Going to have to make it a quad, though, now. A Citizen oh. denies him, but ultimately goes down to Pino. Well, Jocka was in the area, but obviously just going to drop down the hatch. I don't know if he don't saw the drone or not. Could lead to his death if he doesn't. And there we go, Julio. As well as Virtue, I believe over near Library. Virtue be able to finally fire back some artillery land. And it's going to get on now, and they need to start this plant process. G2, though, shutting it down. No one able to make it forward, and G2, hold on. Prep Kitchen, Kamikaze takes down one, but they're simply waiting on the crosses. An easy kill for Virtue. He'll make it double, and that's going to be the round. Can't get it with the pickup, but he can. The plant more than likely will go down. Citizen tries to deny, but he gets denied himself. Into a down state there as Kayak comes back into the fight, but he's also immediately traded up by Muzi. Virtue trying to make this happen alone as he brings it into a but Kamikaze can just play this for time at this point. Sees he's running in. Virtue goes oh. around the corner, but Kamikaze gets up. The oh, looks like the hologram's not exactly going to work out. Oh, and they know the junk is playing close. Hungry with two now. Right now. NIP tried to bring aggression to the table on this round, but it continues to fail them at every single avenue. Muzi, the only one that could get anything done, and he's instantly traded out as G2 take control of the map. Back in the smoke conversation. Uh, there's something that's been happening quite recently on this map, and uh, a couple of other ones as well. Something that we've been seeing inside of North. Too America. obvious. The Navi player on repel there is going to be able to get out of the way of that Doki. Oh. Continuing to put pressure on defaults, and he gets the kill there. This from going on concussion now. No attempt on the plant just yet, and some big kills coming through for Navi. It's only Rampy to try. Shots as well. Can he get it? No, he no, can't. Doesn't he moves just around. Ah, uh, I was actually in the same the motion boat. sensors. They're going to be aware of the fact that he's in here, but it doesn't matter. Blur still six and eight against faults. Deals. They got to re equal. It. Nap trades it back once again, though, but where is the execute? We're not seeing it yet. Another pickup from Blur. Bosco's still alive, but he just has to deny that. Succeeds in picking it up. Making Navi's life so very difficult. Rampy's still here. He'll take one. Can he get the second? Oh, of course he there can. You go. Two quick headshots for this. Drone out, and a free fire here from saves. He'll get it with the LMG, and it's still plenty of bullets to play with. The worst part is Blur goes back for seconds after taking that huge chunk of damage. Fultz will, of course, accept oh, just that. a moment. The only player left standing, full oh, intel, is already on him as well. What? You can see those yellow in dangerous territory as of yet. But Navi oh, need to make more of it. Doki has just found a great opportunity to do that. And that's going to end up going through as well, as Doki will take down Fultz inside of sight. It's left up to uh, Bosco to try and prevent Navi from tying things up, but it's going to be very... We have Doki, pretty unoptimal position, and that's exactly why the crossfire is okay. coming in in a plethora of frags. For saves playing the trophy side, frag grenade oh, out. No. Now it's going down. He doesn't even try well, to stop very it. Very unfortunate. Natal oh, saves, not with a whole lot of intel to play off here at this point either. And there you go. You're going to see the results of that. Fultz immediately Stretch. on the hard corner. With the 40 seconds remaining on the clock, though, here. Bosco with the push forward, though. That's a great find on to saves after he spent so long. He tries to push himself back into the corner of the site. And Toki, man, unfortunate for him. He just looks in the wrong position at the wrong time. He's going to be towards death. Door, they're gonna be work a little more than that save. Tries to get aggressive to stop the Maverick work that's going on in the gunfall wall. He comes in from secretly as he continues to chuck out those incendiaries, but still SSG continue to frag. Two more kills on the fire back, but he just cannot land the shot. Doki with a great ping, counters out the first planet attempt, taking down Rampy and putting Navi back into this fight, if only to a slight extent. Secretly, still has so much pressure onto him. He goes down. Doki's been tripped up as he tries to work his way back up through the red stairs here. There's just not a lot of play potential for Navi, and unfortunately, it goes the way of SS saves here, but the drone goes down pretty much immediately after that. Bolt's still walking up on a free kill against Blur right here. Still has his back when they finally decide to commit at some point in the next 15 oh. to 20 seconds. And there we go. That's exactly what they needed. Secretly holding itself here. I'm sure where the oh. third is going to be rotating in from. Bosco, though, continuing to find impact. Thinking Nate as well. Getting the case down on the ground on the site. Saves cannot do anything. And finally, Doki goes down as well. It's another victory coming in for SSG as they take control. Well, my ban, I think that makes a lot more sense. Sometimes we see Jaeger bans on Consulate. We have seen that earlier today, in fact. Uh, All the angle from Citizen does a little bit of damage, but Eclipse is the one to die to Hungary. At the top, Ash, Pamazoo's trying to utilize it, but the gas canisters are stopping him. In a second for Hungary, still top. will be there waiting, looking for kills. Three and four, and he'll get up both. A 4K from Hungary. The BC drops, outdoing Citizen, just running out of bullets. So the Eclipse is the next one down. Five seconds left, spraying away. It's a hopeless. DZ realize, hey, if they're all rolling, We'll just take oh. the site for our own. Oh. Piper and Pan Bazoo walk right in and they just crush them to be able to pull this one off. He's not going to do anything. That's the answer to our question. Is Pan Bazoo rock in a hard place? Can he make his way out? No, the grenade claims his soul. So Citizen is the one forced. For how long, though? There's still half of the round to go, and Citizen wins that duel against Eclipse. Oh, it's look, that look on his face tells you everything you need to know. 
manages to take out Injun. 10 seconds, he's on it. So Pambazoo needs to get to it. Does he know it's going off? He hears it. You've got to run. One second left. No! What a 30 seconds left. Everybody's still alive. Citizen trying to duel Pambazoo, but on Repel, Pambazoo is better. Shrugs off some more damage from the window. Jonko with the DMR trying his best out. It's a total mess right now. These teams just dueling back and forth, but Jonka. He's the star of that. G2 right. are just so slow on this one. And they're going to feed themselves in. Eclipse is neither, and you can see the look of frustration on the face of G2. Three big kills from Hyper. And Hungry upstairs won't be able to do too much as Hyper gets a quad Quiet game for NJR. That's out of character for him so far. And oh no. Citizen says, holds oh, tracks, but he has no information. He sees it, but Citizen's better in the duel. The timeout works. And G2 Goes takes down for one second. Eclipse gets shredded, by the way, but Kayak stopped a double from Hungry. Still on the cleaning up on the score sheet. But Pambazoo gets a free kill, as free as the day is long. Now watching towards that rotation. This one off because he can catch Hungry right then and there. And what an absolute showing. To barrel through head first while also watching these hatches from above. And Virtual almost gets a freebie. But BC answers back, buffed it up, it's successful. And now the opportunity is lost. A cleanup from G2 above secures over. The teams now stand at even footing, but a big double play from Eclipse as now he gets Citizen as well, two for the price of one. But don't count out G2. Hungry on the retake. He goes for a plant very safely far away from Hungry. And there's no way that G2. This should be easy for DZ to hold off. Just like that, like clockwork. Pambazoo Go. on the and with the exception of that one casualty, make it two as Yonka gives himself away and he's immediately pounced him off. Hyper takes out Citizen. Where is he flying on in? A Nitro Cell from below could spell doom for BC. Diffuser. He could see that the Diffuse is going down, but he's not able to stop it in time. So there's a ton of gun just gunfire going in his direction. And Eclipse will come in for the wraparound to shut him down. Scary moments there for DZ, but they... Pulse is such a strong operator, especially on that Teller's Archives yep. bomb site, as you can see through all of the floors. Awesome. Keep in mind, Scyther is still alive. There's still a Nitro Cell there. Joystick greets Paulo at the top of the stairs. Yes, Down very wary as it's him in a 1v4. They'll collapse on him, try and get the kill hunting him down, and Shepard is credited with that one. Of Joystick, the answer is Ooh. no, but it doesn't matter as Joystick misses his shot. Moringa. Very close to getting this one down. No real problem on his end. Always down for the count. Triple kill for Paul. Slightly 30 seconds remain. Shrugging off a grenade, trying to get away from it, but it's that plus the combination. Mobulated, Sexy King breathing in too much of that toxic canister. PSK gets one. There was a second available for him, but he misses out on that opportunity. Nesk is there. Paul is still all on the main floor. Yokai goes down. PSK all also dropped. Nesk another kill. Beautiful play by Palu. Distract. That was really risky given how little HP Palu has. Goodness gracious, but a shot from Joystick will even on the diffuser he goes. And around the corner, a single shot from Palu will end the suffering. Shepard softening him up and a missed opportunity, but they collect on it anyway. It's an all out brawl with Empire taking a size time to be able to pull this one off. Nobody has access to the diffuser, and the clock strikes midnight on a potential comeback for Liquid. 20 seconds left. Empire holds the lead, and it will continue to grow as Palu goes down for the count. By the time Moringa drops, he's got five seconds left, and he won't even be able to win the fight against Joystick. They had trouble through the middle. No information right now for Liquid. Sexy Cake, he's finished off. On the stairs, felled by the Thermite. PSK on the pinch. Can it compel the last one into action? Dan gives his position away. Paulo will need to sweep in on this. He does so. It's Scyther and Paulo in a 1v1, but Scyther's upstairs. He's retaken the top and will spray through the floor and quite easily track down Paulo. But the thing is that there's a Claymore up there. Scyther will get Empire's very first kill. Ness gets blown to pieces. I don't think he knew that. Bathroom. Palu will retake and he hears the sound. He needs to look to the right, taking out always. Diffuser getting There's nothing that can be done. Dan silencing one, but PSK's a better shot on to Dan. And he'll look to yellow stairs. The player on the window of Scyther will be able to hold this one down, but Shepard takes matters into his own hands. Or and any other ways to address this site. And as a result, they're oh! going to get punished by stuff like this. Sexy cake. I'm and onto it, PSK goes. So Scyther will need to be the one to stop. <gasps> He's got a grenade in hand, but will it land in time? Or will PSK be able to get it and give Liquid the victory? Liquid triumph over him. Percent of the time when available. Now, Zofia, 100% of the time. So, trying to put him in kind of an odd focus on construction, be able to get a drone. Jordan down one outside. That's Chalice. Hysterics pushes forward. Oh my goodness. Getting a three. Oh my, Hysterics. 
out of nowhere, thin air. Can he get the quad as well? He can. Oh my goodness gracious. Just on this ace making sure he does not mess that up. And oh no, we're going to get Looney. Oh, Bolo actually gets both of them hysterics, as well as Lunar Metal trying to support with the deployable shield. That does not work out. The round still very much going to go under the control of Invictus, but at least we get some on the connector. Door goes away. That might buy enough time, however, to build oh, up the laser no. gate. And Shala oh. thinks he has the read on his opponent. Instead, it's going to have to come from Lander. Pojaman shuts down his only other teammate, trying to work the M590, but he can't make these shots connect. Finally gets it done, kills the planter, but now the plane the rack too, going all the way around, nearly gets it, but no, Achieve will clutch it out instead. And TS you to start applying some pressure over E-Box, but now Invictus has something oh, to no. say about it. So does Bolo, so pop Poja right in the back of the head. Tries to put pick right there, but as we can see, oh. Jordan sprays them all down, getting a double at the end, and shutting out a Bolo's starting to take more damage, Chala's also going to go down, but that means Bolo has to hop too as well. He'll get inside of Attic and be able to get that kill, but now it's all back through Attic. So that is indeed going to be the rotation dead down low as Speakeasy is now the only member. He got oh. two. Now the only remaining member up against Speakeasy, but the good news is no toxic smoke, but a swing from the through security, but he can simply shoot him through the oh, wall. Oh no, he goes right in between the two. But Jordan. but Jordan's there to assist this. Very scary right now. Ajit, can he get it done? He'll be able to at least confirm one kill and truly not necessary knock it here. Even with him jumping onto it, even if he stuck it, it wouldn't have mattered. As this round's going to TSM. Now Asterix trying to force oh. his way through the mollies. It's not going to work out. Jordan, so far, the only one that's able to pick one up for Invictus here. Otherwise, TSM is holding the line, and they're going to continue to do so. But Speakeasy changing things up as he gets two suddenly to work his way back in over through Freezer. Speakeasy looking for more, and he's going to get it a triple. Oh. Now a quad as he shuts it all down, and Invictus. What's going on in the back of the site, though? So we're going to start to see those trades roll out from TSM. Jordan, with the only position inside of the site towards Attico, is pushing huge dividends forward for IG right now. They need someone to step up and start getting some frags. It's up to Pojo first, as he'll achieve just that. But Joe, yeah, not in time. Also down to the final 15 seconds. Chalo will start to respond on his own very quickly, though. Pojo Man has lost. Remember, he took a lot of damage earlier on in the fight. Chalo looked for a safe route. Invictus have been able to fully regroup. All three players are stacked together, and they do not make also, the mistake. not going to eat it. This is all of a sudden looking like a TSM round, as they've won every single fight. Speak easy. Drops into Freezer. Bolo will take him down. And Lunar Metal has picked up another exchange. Achieved, though, coming back oh, into no. it. But no, it's all falling oh, to pieces no. for TSM. Oh, the no. Attic player falters. Achieved goes down. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. IG take the match. And T Very respectful, given that Thatcher was banned. Kaid coming into the fold there, making things that much easier to deal with when it comes to actual hard breach utility trying to be deployed right now. And Nade's going to go into his direction. He does Goodbye. not have support for it. Tries to run out into the open, but that only reveals him to Cat Sega. Up. And one more on top of it as well. It's tearing things apart there with the Zofino in the late round situation. That's still going to allow for Damwon Gaming. He oh can't control my. it though, as the players will trade at the throw, end. Though he believes one player has made it through already. He's correct to assume so. Psycho though, still ready for the fight. Misses the follow up on Woogie Man, however. So the trade will come in from him. He's going to try to push it even further. Keep in mind, he is alone in this engagement right now, but still able to frag out. He takes down another player, finally falling at the end of for a better situation. But we'll see. Uh, as there's still well, players on NIP uh -oh. out and about, they do not do what we use. And the likes of Coded and Kat saying they're going to hop to inside of Armory. The plant starts to try and go down. Katsang trying to overwatch with the pistol, but simply cannot get it done. Oh, is definitely not the opportunity you want doing that at this late point in the round. Rin running right in and knocking the head off of Julio, but Psycho responds. Straits right now, as unlikely all of us know, and so does Psycho. He's just going to simply swing the angle. And down. Really great stuff in the early round. Perfect drone placement oh, from NIP, but perfect oh. crosshair placement. They are playing this incredibly far back oh, at this oh, point, but Wookie Wookie. Man, what a pre-fire right! Going to try to make a push through Blue. Wookie Man very much ready for Oh no! Julio saving his own teammate's life. The battle continues on as we approach a 2v2. Yas with a big no pickup for Kamikaze with just quicker. As now he'll approach that zero second mark, trying to wait, trying to wait for an opportunity for Katsang to push, but he never commits to it, so he'll finally commit himself at zero timer. Katsang running around though. He waits this one out. He's as well as Kat. Out on the balcony, but Coded is going to have to be the one to try and Coded, make it. Knowing all of these pixel perfect oh. angles, trying to work it, but unfortunately, the taking down Rin at the top of a main concussion, and then I think Sus is out one, Cat is downing the other. It's up to Julio and Muzi to get something done here, but now the aggression from Damwon Gia, it's just simply. The first find that opens up the possibility for Kamikaze as he picks up the trade after his teammate falls down. A 1v2, very winnable for Kamikaze, but he needs to get out onto this site. Can't get it done, though. Damwon Gaming, despite that, though, Yas is able to trade in for not just one additional player. 
going down on the night. People the second as well. Pino and Muzi both get traded out. Kamikaze nearly loses his own. Denied the space here for that deployable shield, but yes, still playing spoils. He'll take down yes. Kamikaze and Julio. It's the wide swing here, but down charge down very low on HP and not enough time. Damn one gaming Kia. One round. Batteries down once again. You're going to need to use another one of those explosive drones to actually deal with the final battery own as well. Yes. Casting takes down one and Yas with yet another one. A lot of unchecked boxes here we were telling you guys. At any moment in time, it's like they could just go Super Saiyan and Yas is going to get a quad. It's get this done. Put the movement from Yas. Lots of damage off onto Julio. But oh no, that MX4 Storm getting very, very low. But it's Wookiee oh, against NIP. But NIP have turned this around before. We'll see if oh, they can do it again. No! no! Psycho outwitted by Yas as he continues to just rack up the frags against this roster. Wookiee Man falls, but Cody trades it onto Julio. Muzi's all that's left in the 1v3 and Cat Sang shuts it down. Adopt the angle he is. Oh, and it's a beautiful shot. Julio oversteps, not aware. Bounce out into the open, but he's having to try no. and dodge these. The 180 attempt gets the coverage. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Psycho is still fighting. No! no! Goes down to the nade from Cat Sang. The pre fire angle against the default plan, but he's not going to be able to stop it. Nitro's out. That oh. might get the job done, though. Six seconds remaining to reattempt it. They need to push him out here. Coded's already reattempted the plan. He's trying to open up the angle, but he can't find on the shotgun. Coded. He's going to be able to get it down on the ground, and now Pino needs to try and swing out. It's a 2v1, no! and he can't get it done. Cat Sang wins it, and damn one gaming take two games in a row versus the champs. Damn one gaming Kia. Start off at a one to five deficit.